Jonathan Wagner here from SolidZymes.com. If you're in the biomanufacturing business, you know that enzymes can be very costly. So I want to take just a few moments um, to show you the advantage of mobilizing your enzymes. So I have here um, a typical enzyme. This is a lyophilized uh, galactosidase enzyme. And I'm going to add it to a solution of uh, lactose. You can see that it will turn pink as it breaks lactose down into glucose and galactose. Now, the problem with this is that the enzyme has completely dissolved in the solution, uh, which makes it difficult to recover the enzyme and use it again. Uh, on the other hand, here I have the same amount of galactose days, but now it's absorbed onto an enzyme carrier. So it's basically taking the enzyme from liquid form uh, to a solid form. And I can use this uh, over and over again. So if I pour the lactose solution in here, in the immobilized lactosidase, um, the same reaction should begin. <clears throat> now people use enzyme immobilization for a lot of reasons. Um, the number one reason is in order to reuse their enzymes, but sometimes it also changes the properties of the enzyme and allows it to work at higher temperatures or different pHs, which may be good uh, depending on your process that you want to use it in. Um, but people have been using uh, immobilized enzymes for more than 60 years, and there's a lot of products on the market uh, for immobilizing enzymes. In fact, it can be very bewildering. There are so many different methods and materials that can be used. Um, this is settled now, so I'm going to pour off the glucose product. So this would be similar to making um, lactose-free milk because this has the lactose all broken down and we're ready to go ahead and do round two using the same enzymes over again. So uh, here at Solidzymes uh, we are a contract research service, and we have a large collection of enzyme carriers, uh, which is, you know, things like this uh, brown material, but all of them will affect the enzyme in different ways. Um, some of them may be more appropriate for certain enzymes or certain processes, um, and it can be a very challenging task for companies who are interested in scaling up the process <clears throat> um, to kind of develop their mobilized catalyst. Uh, but solidzymes can give uh, expert help with mobilizing those enzymes. <clears throat> and we have experience here with uh, enzyme mobilization both at the lab scale and large industrial scale uh, reactions. So we can help our customers avoid the pitfalls of scaling up their process. Here is round three. So you can see that we've already uh, used the same enzyme to do the reaction three times. So in this case, we would be saving about three times uh, the cost of this enzyme, uh, which can add up really fast. So there you go. If you are interested in getting more out of your enzymes, um, send me an email, jonathan.solidzymes.com or look us up at solidzymes.com.